Hi everyone, Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a lovely Libra reading. This is going to be for the week of the 18th to the 24th. All placements of Libra are welcome. Let's see what we get here. Let's start with this lovely water deck. I've been feeling the water lately, uh, intuitively. <laughs> Maybe you have some water placements, that sort of thing uh, in your chart your, or your, you know, working with water in some way. That just came up in your April reading. Libra that I've done. I have not yet posted yet, but it will come out soon. Um, something about water. And so being the first week of spring coming in, I am, I'm going to be using some uh, animal decks, water decks, things maybe you haven't seen yet. So the mist, trust your inner compass, be led from within. Now these cards are beautiful. They may be just a little hard to see on camera here um the colors aren't super vibrant but they're they very much have this sort of the energy of the water with them trusting your inner compass be led from within something wants to come in with this so let's get a question card here whoa okay so we have the high priestess here the high priestess what is your intuition trying to tell you trust your inner compass what is your intuition saying trust that let that be your guide here this pisces energy of the high priestess all of the decks i use are in the description box i do have quite the collection so please do check those out if you're ever interested and um they're not i don't make the decks i'm just saying you know you can see the ones i use in there and check out that disclaimer reminding you you have free will final say and your intuition knows best libra these are just general readings not everything i say will resonate all right you also have with this the waterfall so it's about your inner power unbridled confidence claiming your place you know a high priestess is not an energy that that's going to um you know question itself doubt itself the high priestess very much believes in uh you know their their abilities they know they because they have history with their own abilities you know and they know what to what to let in and you know what to trust and so the mist the fog you know maybe lifting to some degree here for you libra with this mist card and the high priestess and it's going to come from within it's not anything necessarily external for some it could be but i'm really kind of feeling like it's it's more of this is something you've built something you yourself are going to get some uh some insight into you may go outside near water to do that maybe okay so then you have the chariot so you know what's interesting libra is i pulled a water deck i was feeling it and now we're getting water water signs here with these tarot cards so you have cancerian energy with the chariot and this is um you know what signs are showing you that it's time to move forward and again claiming your place like what how do you know it's it's you're ready to move forward ask yourself what is it that you will need to see know feel achieve in order to be able to move forward 27 could be of importance to you libra maybe you or a loved one are born on the 27th let's see what else we get here i'm hearing something about it's, it's just all in a matter of time all in a matter of time And let's see what else we got. Adding to this. So we have super moon. This is uh, actually, there's going to be uh, an eclipse in our sign, a lunar eclipse on the 25th in our sign. Very powerful. That energy I feel is already with us to some degree. Uh, great manifestation energy, momentum, building the momentum and really bringing in what it is that you want. And maybe for some of you, it is moving on. Um, and when you think of the power that, that a waterfall possesses, um, that's kind of the energy that's coming in here with this waterfall energy is, you know, really, again, that, that it's a, it's a lot of power And the chariot has a lot of power. This is victory and this is success. And again, it's sort of that momentum I'm seeing you're building momentum. So with the super moon, you will emerge triumphant in the end. And I didn't even look at that yet, but yes, victory and success with the chariot and victory and success here with this super moon card okay really building building the energy is building you could feel something is really building at this time ready for the next steps next stage of a process maybe 
and I hear a name, uh, the name Lyra. Lyra? Oh, okay. Somebody's name might actually be Lyric. Lyric? Cool name. That is such a cool name. All right. And then you have Dark Side. So beware of toxic people in, in situations um, and put in, you know, avoid putting yourself in a situation where you may feel cornered, Libra. All right. I am feeling that. So um, avoiding even um, being sucked into those low vibration energies. All right. That is not something that you need to go forward towards anymore. Uh, maybe at some, at some point when we're learning our lessons, you know, we find ourselves in less than ideal situations, but I really do feel as though for a lot of us, um, you know, we've kind of outgrown, uh, certain, certain things here. Let me get a few a message. Okay. So you have, you won't always feel alone. You're attracting your soul tribe. Libra, I think this just came up in a recent timeless message. I do on the, on Thursdays. I usually do those sometimes Tuesdays as well. Tuesdays can kind of fluctuate as far as the topic, but and you're a lot tougher than you think. Absolutely. So if there is some sort of distraction coming in here, Libra, you certainly already, because you have so much um, power invested in something, whether it be yourself, your fortune, whatever you're trying to bring in, Libra, I feel as though you will not be veered off course. Okay. You will not be led off track. All right. Let's see what else we have. We will go into uh, more tarot in a minute. 29 coming to life. You just had this in your April reading. All right. So that April me reading I have done, but it, it'll be posted uh, sometime, probably this upcoming week here, Libra, maybe the following. It, we'll see. But that's in here as well. And that has to do with that transformation after having that time of enlightenment. So you do have that high priestess. You have that beautiful, powerful light energy of the super moon here, Libra. The mist is being is being removed from you and you're getting like, uh, just, uh, again, there's something here about tremendous confidence finally coming in coming to life is that sort of, you know, um, to me anyway, it's, it's sort of, what is it? First of all, what is it that you want to bring in and make sure you're giving yourself the time to adjust and prepare yourself for when it does come in. So not only do we want to be clear, but we want to give ourselves time to settle in and prepare for when that does arrive, whatever it is we're bringing in. I'm hearing uh, uh, not not to avoid trying to be being like a lackadaisical, you know, so just, uh, um, you know, being, you know, making sure you're embracing the power and the passion because the passion will lead to the power. And the power leads to the purpose. So there's, they're giving me something like sort of this chain of events, how it, it's all connected, even though it may seem fragmented at times for some of you, your sleep could also be fragmented. I'm getting something about a dream diary or a journal, or maybe you're just journaling in general about your goals. Maybe you're wanting to get sort of a planner where you can outline uh, your goals and be working towards them, seeing those small steps as progress. Sometimes the chariot, you know, is kind of like a blast off kind of energy, you know, out of the gates. But then other times it's just like that, that belief so strongly that you're continuing to work toward it, toward it, toward it, toward it, because, you know, it's, it's, um, what is it? The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step Confucius or somebody. Okay. I'm not sure, but, um, I think I actually had that on a bookmark and then I found out that it actually wasn't who they cre accredited it to the quote. So yeah, maybe I know you've all heard that quote, but anyway, um, so coming together because I get that hanged one kind of energy here if I flip it, but this is upright. And so things are about to be turned into to the right direction. I wouldn't be surprised with the, if we had like wheel of fortune type energy here, things are about to be rebalanced, realigned. Maybe I'm thinking about somebody's car, not thinking, but tapping into that, but maybe you need an adjustment. I heard something about brakes too, but I'm hearing slow and forward is building momentum for you. All right. I'm hearing a name like Astenia, Astina, Estelle, Someone just said cheerio, cheerio. And then you have the talisman here. Okay. So 
uh, again, this is about, you know, you being tougher than you think, just like this other, um, this other card here underneath that you're a lot tougher than you think. So it's again, sort of that, like, it's like, you're ready for this, this new, um, path, this destination, um, this, uh, what could in fact be your, um, your, you know, real destiny calling you. Um, let's see what else we get for you, Libra. I'd like to get you an angel message. And then I'm going to switch to a tarot deck. Um, a different one than the one with the questions. So you have Macadiel. So this is um, the divine angel of grace and truth. So this is a heart-focused energy, Libra. This is about um, grace, growth, light of truth, a clean heart, honesty, trustworthiness. So that he says, I reveal the path to God and will restore the divine light in your heart to show you the way. And this is about taking action. And the month on here is March. And for a gemstone, we have Ruby. Ruby could also be a name. It can actually be referring to a red car for some of you, a red car of significance. Maybe a loved one drove that. Anyway, we have Aries energy with it, card 32. That's going to be a three and two is five is change. Now, one thing I want to point out with this is um, I was seeing it before, but I knew it wasn't the time to speak of it yet. Now is the time to speak of it. Do you see this light beam coming in through this person's heart? It's sort of like once they make that decision, once they decide which direction to go, um, that's when... And they'll know that how intuitively you will know that you will feel what's right. And then things will start coming to life here. You'll have that super moon energy too. Um, we don't have a super moon. It's, it's, I'm just saying, you know, the energy of super moons with us this week, it seems. So we will have uh, this activation. It seems this beam, this um, it's sort of like if the passion has sort of faded, it could be reignited. If you've been feeling closed off heart wise, it could be reignited. This came up as well, I believe in the April reading that I just completed for you, but have not yet posted. So interesting here. I'm liking that. Okay. Let's see now let's get into a tarot deck. I'd like to use, um, well, we'll get a few cards from this deck here and then I'll go into an animal one because I, you know, theme of spring, I'd like to use a new um, deck and it's going to be an animal one. All right, let's see, Libra. Messages for the greatest, highest good. Thank you to all my subscribers. We're over 3,000. It's amazing and awesome and I couldn't have done it without you. So thank you for your, your subscriptions and your views and likes and comments. And for those of you who have not yet subscribed, would you please consider doing so? It'll help these messages be found by those who need them the most. Eight of Wands, look at this. This is the Momentum card. So you do have the Chariot, seven, and then you have eight, building momentum, seven, eight. You've got Eight of Wands, fiery energy, something coming in, fast acting here. With the Chariot and the Eight of Wands, things may end up moving very quickly all of a sudden. And what else do we have? I heard less is more. And there's something about application. So when I'm hearing less is more and application, it can mean a variety of things, but keep those in mind together. Whatever it is you're applying to or you're filling out an application or you're maybe even applying makeup or something, less is more I'm getting. Uh, maybe more of a natural, refreshed kind of fresh look. For some of you, I could be picking up on, maybe you're wanting to kind of revitalize some things wardrobe wise, even for spring, but also I'm getting something about, you know, if you're having to write something, um, that's formal, sometimes less is more, um, because we don't want it. We don't have to, it's better to be like right to the point here and with something and to just put in what's necessary without, you know, sharing every little detail sometimes when you're trying to advocate for yourself uh less can be more that's you know and i found that to be true in my own personal experience i tend to want to write a book you know on everything and sometimes uh, my real message could be lost in that if i you know include all these 
extra details and things. So just leaving out information that's not really pertinent in that first email or that first application, maybe save that for the interview or the follow-up email or something like that. Okay. So that's just for some of you, you'll know if it's your message. And of course, always follow your own intelligence and intuition first. Four of cups. So, you know, normally it's interesting as I would have put this eight down over here, but I was, my body was led to put it here. And then it happened to really tie into this whole discussion we were having about momentum, moving forward, uh, being very clearly uh, directed here with this chariot. You're the, the driver, okay, in that chariot. Let's remember that. You're not just swept away, right? You're having full control here. And this is, um, yeah, four of cups, as I said, water energy. So you have the fire, you have the water. They're playing nicely, which is great, balancing each other out here. Mm, yeah, it's sort of like before, here was this energy almost of, you know, as I'm always fascinated by where I'm guided to place things, and then I tune into the cards. So it's interesting that I put this sort of before the coming to life, because you could be coming out of this Four of Cups energy, you know, sort of, eh, you know, I feel kind of alone. Maybe you haven't felt like you've attracted your soul tribe yet. You know, maybe you haven't felt, maybe you felt like something had, had kind of failed or you were feeling just very, very uh, disappointed with the options or the way things turned out. But then we have um, something else coming in, which is really cool. Um, they're telling me about rattlesnake right now. Okay. So that could be a nickname rattlesnake. You might have a rattlesnake. I could also get something about um, some of you not wanting to announce the birth of something, a uh, project, or you may not be wanting to announce um, a pregnancy yet. It may be, you know, less than three months or something, or you just don't want to, just don't feel ready yet. Maybe you don't want to tell your um, colleagues uh, about that yet. And now I'm being drawn to, let's see what else. So we're getting this. Okay. I'd like to get some clarifiers on these. So what do we have here? This four of cups and coming to life here. It's interesting because when I did the April reading, it wanted to be split like this as well. I couldn't wait to do the April reading. I, I've just been really wanting to find out about April. I feel like it's going to be a big month for us Libras as a collective. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I just wanted to see what it was. So I'm happy for that to come out. And It's interesting though, because this was the format that I was led to do for the April one. And it's not one that I would generally do. I don't normally have these splits like lately, but with the April energy as a little sneak peek preview for you, there seemed to be two distinct energies in, in April, almost like the first half and the second half are different. Maybe you're like rushing around trying to prepare for something that happens. And then there's like sort of a, um, you know, the next phase of something at the end of April or something. So we have the Empress. I love seeing this. This is a, a new deck I'm using that's just been released. Um, so you can check that out in the description box. And um, so this is uh, an Angora rabbit. So it's time to hop into action, Libra. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life. I love having this as sort of an overall energy here. We'll put this here with this um, nice uh, angel here. Hmm. Yeah, this deck is the uh, Animal Guides um, by Radley Valentine, I believe. Let me just double check that. Oh, so, and you're going to see the new Abiola Abrams deck. I often use the Inf uh, African Goddess Rising. And today we're going to use the new one that, that she just put out and that's the uh, um, secrets of the ancestors oracle what else does libra have we have the two of earth so we have oh the, another okay so it's now it's an obsidian cat so think soft fur so you might be under stress because you have multiple things going on too many responsibilities for one person it's important to balance your work and your personal life to bring in a spirit of fun okay you want to bring in a spirit of fun keep that going on all right um, in all that you do. Let's see what else we have here though. And then I'm going to use yet another or go back to the other. Oh, and now you have the chariot on both sides here. So, and these are not, these are no longer like really split. It's just kind of now this is the whole reading. Okay. 
So you have an Arabian horse here with the chariot. So this is about you successfully balancing various or opposing energies. Could be those responsibilities here, like this cat is talking about. All right. And this is about you earning the rewards and recognition you're receiving. So you're going to need to be in a place where you're ready to receive Libra because something could certainly be coming in that you've called in. I just did your recent um, career money opportunity reading here and you had this like, you know, be ready Libra because you are a magnet for this. You have manifested it and now you're a magnet for it. You're bringing something in again with the chariot you're the driver all right so it's you're not just going along for a ride anymore some of you are definitely done doing that in life so um and then you have um there's well let me see what else let me see what what the cards are going to give us first let's let's go right in there we go all right so now back to just a straight up tarot deck here it's this one I think is mythic soul. All right. That's where I spend super thanks, by the way, <laughs> new deck. So when you give me a super thanks, thank you so much. You're helping. Well, all of us really, because now we can have new decks all the time. So anyway, uh, King of Swords, and this is, well, there's something here about timing. I don't always get that. Uh, with the king of swords there's something about something being right on time mm, with that chariot too how they're looking at him like that it's something about your success is arriving right on time we haven't spoke spoken about the two of earth energy that's the two of pentacles normally so this is really kind of the decision um but you know as they say it's sort of made you know your energy could be kind of split in two places maybe that's why i started out this reading with sort of split you know, one and two, pile one, pile two almost, <laughs> but, um, okay, let's see. Um, oh, I'm actually getting some sort of digestive issues for some of you. That could be something that you're dealing with. Um, seven of swords. Now seven of swords wanted to come out in a pre-shuffle. So, uh, yeah, you actually have triple sevens here now, Libra. You have the seven of swords, the seven of chariot, seven chariot. So you have triple sevens. What else is new for us, right? <laughs> We, we seem to get a lot of the same numbers here, all right? Um, so Seven of Swords, being strategic about something. This person here, this King of Swords, they're very, they're strategic. They're strategic um, character here, you know, um, archetype, if you will. Um, mm, your place, very careful placement of something, very careful because it's, I'm getting a message about not wanting to go back, not wanting to sort of regress. Uh, it may also be not wanting to return back to a person or situation. I'm really being drawn in by this King of Swords. We're going to see more about it. Let's look into that. Excuse me. Let's see. King of Swords, Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles four of pentacles. All right. So I feel as though some of you have had to hold back in past situations, relationships, that sort of thing, because there just, there isn't, um, and there's also this, there wasn't equal give and take, but there's also this fluctuation here, Libra of sort of holding back and then like going on a shopping spree. So that could be something that, you know, you're, you're, dealing with right now but it's like this energy of sort of uh moving on from that sort of the, the six of swords moving on from that sort of um you know up and down back and forth you know like it's kind of you wanting to you want to avoid um extremes right now and one reason is because it, it, it do, going to those extremes can really exhaust us because it can throw off our balance uh, in life or that two of pentacles is coming in again you know and even though you are tougher than you think, it's like, do you really want to have to challenge yourself all the time? So maybe um, an energy of sort of uh, consistent healing, good health, rest, rejuvenation, re rebalancing before you get to a burnout level is advised here with the cards. All right. There we go. Uh, you may also, the other thing is, is this night it's like this king of swords so confident this knight of swords not a king yet right i mean what do you care we're the empress now <laughs> so anyway um and uh 
Uh, there's something about, I'm hearing something about being the lone survivor. Maybe you're the last um, like sibling in your family or something. I'm sorry if that's the case. Um, I know that can be hard from personal experience. Um, so maybe you're, um, you know, you're the remaining one at a job or the remaining one to, you know, stay and take care of uh, an elder or something, or maybe you're the, you're someone who stayed in your hometown and others moved on. And so there's almost like a sadness there or something for, again, I could be talking to one or two of you, you know, but uh, there is, I'm picking up a little bit on that. Knight of Swords, avoid those impulsive decisions here. Like I said, it could be spending, overeating, that sort of thing, crash diets, all that stuff. Because again, it just, it wears on us. We are a sign where we really need, and just humans in general, I don't love stereotyping. So <laughs> we'll just say uh, in general, um, and I don't look at astrology as, you know, we're not just our sun sign. So um I don't think we can sort of box people in like that. You know, we're not just one thing, no matter what we are in life. We're more than one attribute, right? So you're more than your sun sign. You're more than um, what others thought you would be. For some of you, you have really, um, really uh, surpassed anyone's expectations and maybe even your own. But we want to, again, we want to try to keep the focus and make sure this week that we're, we're um, doing what we can to sort of, um, you know, it's be excited for what's coming in. You know, um, for some of you, it'll be a, a step in the right direction here, uh, building the momentum still, even if it's just writing it down to manifest it. But, but it's going to be, uh, you know, important that we kind of try to keep our energies um, in balance here, in a balance, a state of, uh, you know, a... Uh, but keeping the equilibrium here, the uh, in a state of what homeostasis. All right. Anyway, um, let's see. Some of you, someone's going to want to repair something with you. Okay. Oh wow! And then we have this tower. All right. So um, we could be because you're getting close. We're getting closer to April here. You know there was uh an interesting tower for april it was almost like magical i don't know how to explain it but check that reading out when it's out um but yeah there is some sort of crumbling of the old ways um i'm also getting something about uh you, you we can't build a new future with the skeletons of yesterday all right so that's you know that's what they gave me um we can't build the future you with the skeletons of yesterday. We can't lay our foundation, our new foundation on the destruction of the past. It's important to start fresh, Libra, with this new energy. Now they want me to get one more of these. So seven of pentacles, seven of earth. Yeah, the planning resource and efforts that you've invested in, in your dream will reap great rewards. But in the meantime, it's about the patience. Meditate on your next steps. What's the transition plan? Some of you are transitioning in or out of something. And so you're, you're planning and preparing for that with the cow here. Um, you know, this is really about, um, well, the seven of earth. It is really about, you know, that I'm getting a freshness here about it. All right. You know, and it's interesting cows eat clover and, you know, we just had St. Patrick's day or we will, when you see this, it's on St. Patrick's day when this is posted. And, um, uh, so there's something here about, it's almost like you're making your luck, all right? And I kind of get that as though, though there's a wheel of fortune. And sure enough, bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Libra. Ace of Pentacles, that new opportunity coming in. And I just heard, it's going to please you. It's going to please you. That's what I've been told. It'll please you. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, please you could also be uh, like a name similar to a name that I'm hearing right now. Please you. Please you. All right, let's see what else this is going to go here. Yes, Queen of Air. Interesting. So you have Queen of Air here with this leopard, and then you have this King of Swords. So it's as though, you know, you find the um, the key to something, okay? The key the key is, is uh, uh, revealed, okay? Some sort of something here. It's your self-sufficiency, your Queen of, Queen of Air, your experience. So all of your life experiences have prepared you for this moment of truth. 
the swords have so much to do with the truth, right? And there's something again with this, it's and it's right on time, Libra. Things are squaring away, all right, getting so you're clearing away situations that aren't working anymore. We psh, psh, cut it out with the sword, and it's time to maybe declutter, just uh, clear out what does not um, suit you and serve you. So this is about um, you. Gis I'm sorry, um, distancing yourself, disengaging from any energies that that were maybe yeah, like impulsive, unhealthy, where you just need to start start anew. Some of you, and it could be a relationship, some sort of partnership, but um, there were maybe some people in your life, maybe even fellow air signs could be water, could really be any, um, sign here, but they may have been just a bit, a, just, just not worth the drama that, that, that also entailed. And, um, so that's, there's this sort of new, um, this new breath of fresh air coming in, which is in perfect timing for spring. And let's see what else we're getting. Let me get some money cards. For some of you wanting to know about the moolah. Money moves, money moves, money moves. All right. If you're enjoying this, please hit that thumbs up for me. I'd appreciate that. Let's me know what kind of readings you're resonating with. All right. So we have home based. So this could be a home business, some sort of, again, a change in the environment. We just talked about this. You know, so that makes sense to me. A change in the environment could bring in extra funds, or maybe you're starting sort of something on the side here. Now, these cards are all kind of mixed in here. Yeah, all right, let's see what else we got. So this cow's like peeking in in the house. Uh -huh. All right. And then you have strategy, creating a plan of action. Interestingly enough, this is right in the reading where we talked about preparing. Okay, preparing um and planning your resources and efforts and look strategy here with the seven of swords here that's a strategic energy that and the five of swords to me is always kind of a strategy here it, you know so for some they say it's deception but i'm not picking up on that right now so creating that plan of action getting yourself into healthy habits and routines and then look find your aim in life your compass Libra. compass is strong so this is about you um you're not wandering, you're making progress. Okay. This is finding your aim, finding your place, come up and coming up with that, um, plan. All right. Let's see what else we're getting. You want to make sure you're not overly exposing yourself to certain things. We have romance. So love is set to sizzle. This is a chance for romance being rather high for those of you seeking a connection. All right. Um, Let's see what else. Let's get a little on the love. Let's get you a love card here. And you have attraction. So divine soul counterpart attraction transcends superficiality. You just had that in your April reading too. It's incredible how this is coming up. So for some of you, you do have this deep connection coming in. I did feel it more for April, but you're getting sort of a little, um, hey, for those of you wondering, you know, April seems like a really good time to bring in some sort of new love situation. And look, your other card is soul. Your soul is preparing to connect. So trust in the process. All right. So there we have those little love messages for you. Um, little sneak peek at love there. We're going to put that over here. And now let's see what else we get. Um, Libra for, let's get a fortune card. All right. And that could have to do with a few different things. So star oh nice aquarius energy now 29 29 is also on this coming to life card so your star qualities and abilities are coming to to light here libra and look it's almost like this person's bringing down the star from the sky and these are completely different decks so this is you and your star energy so and just remember 29 and 29 that's an 11 and that's an 11 so 11 11 and that's right where you had that in your april reading you had 11, 11, and one of the cards involved was this one. And so anyway, it's amazing to me how these are sort of already talking. You know, we're getting some sort of preview already of April in it when it comes to this week. Okay. Um, so let's see. Their hard times are overlooked forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, positivity. That actually comes from you, Libra. Um, so you're, you're making that happen for yourself. You don't need to be relying on anyone else for that. 
and you have between worlds. So it's a critical stage, the old, the new. So the there again, it's about, you know, with this tower, the end, the end of something marks the beginning of something else. Okay. It's a new cycle for you of manifestation. So a new cycle of manifestation is upon you. And again, there's that freshness of the energy. So uh, you got, you're getting, you're definitely getting the fresh energy here coming in in um, April. I'm sorry, not just April, but this week. All right. So let's see. I feel like sacrifices you've made, um, are, you're going to see that that's paying off in some way. Let's get um, the twins, a conscious connection. Yeah, again, with the, this is going right over here. This is, again, this is something about like soulmate energy here. All right. I just kind of want to do this right now. I want to actually be organizing my uh, cards here for you. So yeah, we are getting... Um, little bit of more structure you may feel as though you go so far and then you just need to kind of uh pause reflect regroup that sort of thing so the twins conscious connections you could actually have a twin maybe you're you know connecting with your twin in new and different ways that's cool maybe you're actually going into partnerships together on something you and your twin and then you have speed creature of air so you know air sign energy that's us um that is, uh, you know, this kind of is reminding me of a Knight of Swords, though. So we want to make sure that um, we're using that power um, of, of transformation, um, our abilities, our skills, all that momentum. We're using that to our advantage and not getting lost in it. Um, so we do want to make sure that we're using our speed effectively. And fertile ground here with Mother of Earth. Yeah, this is this is great. And this kind of again, it's like the the twins here kind of feed into that hole that you could be, you know, attracting some sort of soulmate. We can have more than one, depending on your beliefs. Uh, I feel now that we can have more than one. Romantically, um, this could be a romantic thing. Um, we could have. I feel that I have lots of soulmates who are four legs and furry and have tails. You know, <laughs> um, but. But, uh, you know, there's also this that Empress energy here showing up with the card 40 here, Mother of Earth, Fertile Ground. And that actually, as you can see in this beautiful, awesome card, um, there's there's something about, yeah, being connected to, say, you know, mothering and etheric realms and that sort of thing. But also um, having this um, this abundance all around. So being able to create wealth abundance whatever that means for you in many ways labor because success comes in many many forms and i flipped the deck and i have the father of water and i think that is so cool because the father of water and the mother of earth i mean you know you water the plants the seeds that you've planted and and what do you get i mean you you know you get this oh then you have the creature of air i mean this is incredible and then here this could be the twins the lovers so i'm really feeling a lot from this this deck which i have not used yet and wow am i loving this already Ooh, i'm getting chills honestly this Ooh, all right so it's very just very powerful how it's all coming in it's like they're coming in as this family with this story here maybe you're relating to that in some way and it's, it's, you know, the air actually allows the seeds in real life, you know, it allows the seeds to kind of be transported and then you're, you're planting roots in new and different ways. So it's, it's more than just where you planted something. That's not where you have to stay. Okay. Where you initially laid down tracks or rule roots. Um, that's not where you have to stay. And then you have the power of the father of water here with bringing in the balance and the harmony, sort of um, mellowing out this, this creature of air. It's all, they're all working together, a very grounded energy, a lot of power, force, and momentum here with this, this creature of air. And that father of water is that very uh, cool, calm, collected sort of energy. And knowing that all life comes from water with this mother of earth, it's like, what an amazing, what an amazing pair these two are, right? And you see the angelic child here, like a cherub of sorts almost. <laughs> um, and uh, this is really, really incredible energy. 
I kind of wanted to this first time using this deck sort of just sort of see how it plays out, you know, using it in this live reading. I exported a little on my own beforehand, but um, this is this is great. All right. So you'll be seeing this deck in readings <laughs> coming in. All right. Now, what else? Let's get some other things for Libra this week. Any other reminders and things? You have Bone Collector. So interesting, it's right on top of this Mother of Earth. Because, yeah, that is, again, it's about, uh, you know, being practical, having all the resources you need. If this was going to be a tarot card, I would say it's like the Empress. And so is this Mother of Earth. So you're basically getting, like, you've had three Empresses, essentially, here in this reading, which is really, really incred uh, incredible. Oh, wow. So new fertile ground is, is before you. New fertile ground. <clears throat> All right, so sacred pool. What do you know? I place it right on top of the Father of Water, this sacred pool here. This is about, again, like it's all stemming from water. We're, we're made up of mostly water. We, we come from water. Um, and, and this is, um, you know, life forms, you know, all life forms, they, they came from water. Uh, so we have just anything is possible here, really. Anything's possible. It's fertile ground here. Uh, really is. So fertile ground, fertile waters. Um, this is oh, this is great. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. All right, that's the reading. <laughs> All right, so um, let me get, I want to get a few more insights here into what's going on here. Let's see. Um, hmm. It's like just, the, again, this nice breath of fresh air sort of energy let's see what do we have here the enchanted forest oh so grateful i have these decks here over here we're putting this card here right here this is the spirit of love what do you know and that's the love pile that's incredible so finding things that really align for you oh my goodness libra i get so excited sometimes in these readings i'm so grateful for spirits guys you know um and just you know and you being here and just like all of it coming together and then the creators of these beautiful cards and um the fact that i can have them for these readings i'm so truly incredibly grateful i'm just i am so filled with gratitude for this reading um so i do help us help hope it's helping you <laughs> uh lord and lady of the forest here so this is not searching for true love because it'll find you if you just hold on to who you are self-love before any other kind of love right the world already loves your essence so don't change it for anyone you know i tell myself that in these readings sometimes people will leave less than kind comments but that's very very rare and you know i always know it's just it's a reflection of that person like if they're going out about their day um you know criticizing a stranger like that just never would even occur for me to do that but you know we live in that kind of world that uh, people like to try to spread their venom, if you will. And, and I just, you know, again, it's like, I just say, Hey, you know, that person must really be going through something. It's too bad. They can't go about life like that, but for whatever reason, you know, they're hurt, they're whatever, and they're spewing their, their, um, their nastiness. And so we just kind of let it go because, because the thing is, is that we can't go around trying to change the essence of who we are. So if, if this channel, if I, because I am this channel, this channel is me. If, if I'm not resonating with everybody, fine. That's okay. But, you know, we don't need the, the, the nastiness. You know, it's like I'm not poking my head into their life and whatever, you know. Anyway, so here we are. Oh, another card came out. Four of Fire. So we have the Otter. Oh, this is the Four of Wands, Libra. This is, again, like things aligning. For some of you... I'm hearing you're going to reach a settlement. A settlement will be reached. Now, I want to tell you about the otters. They're they're wonderful um, mamas. Okay, otters are absolutely wonderful mamas. And so we have the eleven eleven card here. All right, so there it is again. Eleven eleven showing up for you strong, and it's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all you have. This is another card of achievement, Libra. And notice that they're they're swirling around, relaxed in the water here, the healing waters. All right. So joy arises from success in multiple ways, all right? And this is about uh, a happy home life, a happy, you know, achievement of some kind, project, completion of something, accomplishment, really. <clears throat> so um, let's see what else. Oh, 
we have? Um, we have Magnolia. You will find what you need in the wisdom of your heritage. And Gerbera. Some of you love those Gerbera daisies, right? So this is showing appreciation and joy shall follow. So when you show appreciation, joy shall follow. As I said, I'm really filled with the gratitude here. So, and I just want to thank all of you for the lovely comments that you leave. Um, I, I really appreciate when you let me know how things resonated and, you know, although I try not to take any words personally, good or bad, um, reading about, you know, your, um, how things resonate for you. It, it I'll admit it really does. It brings me, um, uh, peace and happiness. It makes me know that um, what I'm doing here is 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 uh, what I should be doing, at least for now. Okay? So I appreciate that very much. Um, you make this channel, really. Oops. 15. I am wise. You sure are. So this is your love for others being powerful. Maybe you were born on October 15th or the 15th in general or that's a significant date for you. And um, this is about being curious. This is a social energy, you know, in contact with a lot of different people who could benefit from your wise and heartfelt words of wisdom, Libra. Maybe you yourself are wanting to, you know, put yourself out there in a bigger way and, and um, in sharing your life experiences. So this is um, card 30. So that's another, you know, it's, you know, 30, you know, 15 times two is 30. So we've got uh, another, uh, 15 in a way. Um, so that could definitely be a number for you. 15 and then six, cause one in five is six. So, um, there's that, uh, as well, or even 24 cause two, four, six. So it's a, it's the numbers, you know, that are, that are led by, that are ruled by six, as far as, um, your birth date, you know, about harmony of beauty. Uh, you know, it makes me think of like Venusian energy, you know, <laughs> um, so our love for beauty of things and things like that. So anyway, um, you're wise, you're imaginative. You could have an uplifting effect on others. All right. And then you have master number 22. I'm aligned. You're aligned with your purpose. And when you are, oh, that's when magical things happen. Okay. Things that really make a difference, um, big things. All right. And sometimes it's the little things that are huge, right? Just showing gratitude, right? Just being yourself. It might seem little, but it's huge. You know, we should all do it. <laughs> so you're in the possession of incredible creative powers now, Libra, and you can achieve anything that you wish. All right. And what else do we have for Libra? Anything else for Libra? Is there something that we overlooked or missed? Let me see here. Um, oh, we'd like to get, we're going to get one of these and then an animal card. And that might be about it. Let's see. I just heard Chance the Rapper. Maybe you're listening to Chance the Rapper or you have a connection or what. But And I believe he wears a three on his hat. So that could be significant to you. Three. The things come in threes. Whoa. Let's see. All right. Being. Your worth as a human being is independent of external factors. You are valuable, not due to achievements or material possessions, but simply because you exist. Remember that. So again, like you don't have to rely on the compliments or the comments or the judgments of others of, or, or an award that you want or anything like that. It's, it's just you are achieving, you're succeeding by being here, by being you, by waking up every single day and choosing you, choosing your life. Now that's not being selfish. All right. We need to take better care of ourselves. Perhaps if mo more of us took better care of ourselves, we'd be able to take better care of each other in the world in general, animals, the environment, all of it. Right. We can only give out what we have within us. Right. So if we don't, if we don't love ourselves or if we, I'm saying this because I actually, I had this little, this, um, inkling, um, that, it's, it's sort of like someone could have with their words or their actions or their inaction could have really disappointed someone lately, could have disappointed you maybe or something. And it's like, put, don't put all your reliance on that. That really has such a low uh, value in the, in the grand scheme of things, right? Um, what matters most is how you see yourself, 
maybe that's a famous quote. I don't know, but I, that's one thing that I try to live by. And that is, um, my opinion is number one to me. And that could sound selfish, but I didn't start out like that. I started out, you know, really not being, um, very confident in life. And there were reasons for that, uh, due to childhood, um, things that happened. So, um, I've had to over time realize that, wow, that is actually true. That, that how we treat ourselves and how, what we, how much we love ourselves and, and, and everything is, um, and believe in ourselves is really what matters because only from that place of self-love can you love others, you know? So that's really, it's not about being selfish. That's actually in a way it's very selfless to be so self focused, you know, and it seems like, wow, the, how it can that be how ironic, but it is, it is true. It's like, you know, there's a lot of self love and, um, and that has to happen before we can actually, um, send anything, send loving vibrations out. Right. It really has to come from within that fire within that knowing that you deserve it, your own value, your own worth, you decide, and you then in turn teach others in the world, how you will be treated and how you will not allow yourself to be treated. So make sure you're standing up for yourself. Okay, Libra, stand up for yourself and, um, and you know yourself best. Okay. And you have peony here. Prosperity can be assured if you care well for tomorrow. And again, it kind of is think, making me think care well for tomorrow and plan for tomorrow, but caring well for yourself will affect tomorrow. So if you take care of yourself today, tomorrow will be influenced in a positive way. And I did not mean to rhyme, but I'm so happy it happened. <laughs> All right. And now let's get you an animal card. You, you already had a few come through in the animal tarot deck we used. Oh, you have lemur. I'm hearing the name Lennon, actually. Arctic fox and raccoon. All right. So I love the masks on these two right here. I'm seeing similarities. So with raccoon, you have with determination and resourcefulness, you can now create your dream scenario. That's right. And there's a lot of magic that surrounds that raccoon. Some of you may have dressed up as a raccoon, I'm hearing at one time. And I just heard a uh, bandit, bandit. So if that was a name, a raccoon, or you had a nickname or Smokey and the Bandit or um, Bandit was a dog or something in your life. So, so there's something there about that. And I'm hearing Brandy. Brandy? Maybe you're a Brandy Carlisle fan. Maybe uh, your name is Brandy. Maybe something. All right. So um, Arctic Fox, within you lies the power to overcome the strength to endure. Now, let me start out here. Let's, let's, let me acknowledge these commas here. Arctic Fox, within you lies the power to overcome, comma, the strength to endure, and the spirit to thrive. Arctic Fox. Oh, so pure, innocent. Look at that. Hopeful, curious. I love that energy. Lemur, dance to the rhythm of your heart and find joy in the present moment. You are already there. Mm, wonderful. All right. So Libra, I think that's the reading. Um, some of you are wanting to know why something didn't happen or why it happened the way they did. Let me get you an angel message. I could just feel that coming in right now. Mm, it's weird. I don't normally shuffle it like this. Crossing paths. So this is about, you're about to cross paths with a soulmate or kindred spirit. So this is a significant meaning in an opening of the heart. That could be why something didn't work the way it should have, in your opinion, or you know, something changed, a time, a date, something changed. It's because um, you're actually being set up to uh, cross paths with something else and you are about to give birth. So this could be birth of a child, a new business or a creative project. All right. So there's that. And then anything else? <laughs> signs, Libra, signs. All right. So the universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. Oh yes. This could be in a variety of ways. 
It could be, um, you know, the same name keeps coming up or numbers or the time on the clock, you're looking at it and there are numbers that are always the same. This could be, um, so I'm getting Charlie Brown right now. So the name Charlie or Brown could mean something or Charlie Brown in general. Linus, is that what I'm getting there with that? Linus, they want to tell me maybe. I'm hearing Mr. Owl, that commercial. Remember the Tootsie Pop commercial? Mr. Owl. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? One, a two, a three, a three. And then he bites into it. Remember that? I don't know why that's coming in, but maybe you liked that commercial or used to eat those pops or something. I have a question for you, Libra. Do you remember the original, like, I don't know if it's the original, original but when, so I was a kid in the early 80s, all right, in the 80s, um, and, well, throughout the 80s, uh, and there was the rapper for the, for the Tootsie Pop, if you found the star on the paper, that was considered special, like only certain Tootsie Pop rappers had the star. So I'm now getting like star rapper, like someone being a star rapper or even a star athlete. That's completely separate, but I'm specifically picturing a cherry Tootsie Roll Pop. And then I'm seeing a star and I'm seeing that meaning something almost like, um, uh, something being very special about this star. And I, it could be that, that you're the star. It could, it could be different things, but like have the wisdom to know that you are indeed the star, even though that external rapper that, that it was sort of uh, labeled with a star and it, it meant something. It's sort of like, don't rely on the external to determine you, that you are a star. That's not where your stardom comes from, your starhood or whatever. It's it comes from within and it's already there, Libra, at conception or at birth or whatever. It's there from the start, whatever you consider the start to be. All right. Now, how many, do any of you remember the rapper, the Tootsie Roll Pop rapper that had the star on it? I don't know if you do. And who of you remember the light brown M&Ms? You remember those tan like M&Ms? There was light brown at one time and they got rid of them. I'm like, yeah, do we really need like, you know candy do we need multiple shades of one color i don't know but anyway um <laughs> i'm getting into like my thoughts on candy anyway there's something to that too where i'm gonna say light brown m m's and you're gonna be like yes i do so that was a thing or something there's something there that i need to say that about okay for you and, and then there's the reese's pieces too so maybe some of you really love the reese's pieces i don't know or your nickname's reese or reese or something in, in a, up in the beyond. Okay. So magnificence. Okay. So this is basically stardom power. Okay. Start. So you're amazing, magnificent, and unique, but most importantly, you are enough Libra. You are enough. And, and that's probably going to go in the title too. Maybe, you know, that could be another possibility that you are, you are enough. Okay. Um, because it, it, it starts from within it needs, you know, that's why we really need to nurture ourselves and keep our dreams alive and, and keep our, um, our energies cleared. So make sure if you need to clear your energy, declutter, do what you need to do. And, um, I'm wishing you a great week ahead. I'll see you in the next reading. It, it might be the April reading on Tuesday. Then there's going to be a timeless message on Thursday, as there always is, where I connect more with spirit guides and we'll use more of my uh, sort of psychic mediumship abilities. And then, um, you know, I've been doing weekly tarot scopes uh, for all signs, but I'll be honest, Libra, they're only getting a very, very, very small view, um, like only small viewership compared to my other videos. So I'm not so sure I'm going to keep spending that hour, you know, on making those videos. I might, um, you know, give that a, a break for a little bit or, uh, or make another Libra reading instead in its place. I'm not sure, but, um, but yeah, so that's just, you know, they're here for now, at least this week I put one up, but you know, I'm not so sure about, you know, going forward. So, uh, you know, I hope you have a great week. All right. There's just like all these little housekeeping things. Thank you so much for being here. Love and light.